1904 Funny, and welcome back to some more Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. Wait, wrong YouTuber. Oh, sorry guys. Hey, it's 904 Funny, and we're back with more Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. The Dark Brotherhood. No, last episode we fought these hawks, um, taking over a machine in the hills. Yeah. I don't know. Basic synopsis. We're trying to help some kind of weird scientist for some reason. Weird scientist these days. In this episode, we're going to find another machine that we have to destroy for some reason. This must be one of the projectors. Mr. Madden was talking about Madden. What? Dr. Madden? Sega doesn't even make men. Let's shut it down. It, anything football related. Okay, so walk up to it and yeah, wait. Usually What's this? Apparently, it attracts birds. Those are some realistic sound effects right there. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. this is Raptor Hawk. And Wasp Wars. Oh, oh, I don't get an ambush. Oh. I'm not, like, faster something. Okay, uh... This doesn't sound like the fastest thing alive. Yeah, but this one, you just faster? have to stop and fight. Okay. Well, this is why there's no sequel. Yeah. Just because it was that bad. Well, yeah, Sonic Generations was a much better game. I don't have that. Wait, there was an Xbox version and... There's a 3DS 3 version. Yeah, I know. Don't have that. I heard oh, Feather Barrage. I hate this attack. See, he to just defend the attacks. Well, all four time. of them you missed. Can, yeah, but you can just tap the coordinates and... Ah. Uh, where do you want... Okay, axe kick. Nice. Okay, it's almost dead, I think. I actually like how it shows your HP on the top screen. Unlike fossil fights. Ah, oh, I did it wrong. Oh. And they have, like, different kind of, like, element types, sort of, that I equipped it to each character. I see. Oh, 52. You have to tap in the same place eight times. I'm having um, a tantrum. Ah. Okay, now uh, I think it's poison. I am it's, so lost right I now. I think it's luck or something is down. Okay. Okay, I'm just doing my default attack or I don't know. Who's your default attacker? No, that, like all of them have just have like a regular attack, and then they also have special ones. Okay, I I, I mean, I mean, think of those blue bars up there as like FP, except each character has their own. I see. And it's not as high number. And you just nailed okay. that one. It says use an antidote. Oh, that's just a tip up there. Oh, got okay, another revival ring. Even though my guys wouldn't, weren't close to dying. There's one more protector left. Aw, uh, they don't let me do an option of answering. Uh, hmm, I see a star over there on that island. Alright, oh, better no. check it out. Another fight. Oh boy. Oh, I think I'll cut this part. Yeah. What's this? There's a force field up there. Oh, it leads into a cave. Check it out. Because going into okay, dangerous so just, caves when you're just a pure little hedgehog okay, is obviously just, a great idea. Just punching through boxes. Because, you know, Knuckles is such a boxer. That Eggman singles lead. We have to get through it, uh, obviously. Okay, no, so we don't want to get through it. They think it's something having to do with Eggman. Ah, wild boar. We just have to run very slowly. You know, usually Sonic is faster than this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They should really make him generations fast. And oh my, pro cutscene right there. Yeah. The champions had better cutscenes. Of course that. champions had better yeah. cutscenes. Those cinematic cutscenes were the best part of the game, despite them being like three seconds. This game always seems to have, like, the catchiest tunes for each area. Mm-hmm. Uh. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You have to go over here into a store. And I have to talk to this guy, and he can't find his stapler. What? So you have to go... 
So we have to just talk this guy to get his stapler back. What about the cave? Uh, that, I think... I don't know, I have to find, like, robots or something. You need to find robots and a stapler? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's like this weird force field that just takes a long time to go away. Oh, hey, cutscene! Pro cutscene right there. And wow, look at that world map. What? It looks like it was drawn by like a six-year-old. I mean, this is supposed to be like the Green Hill Zone from the first Sonic game. It's kind of sad, actually. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's like you just go around and it doesn't even look like a side-scroller anymore. Mm-hmm. No, it's still there. Oh, I didn't mean to go there. But at least they- oh. An egg! What's no, that egg, egg for? Oh, okay. For those, like, KO thing. I don't know. At least they still kept that loopy loop thing and... You look like a pinball. Spins and goes down. Great. Just have to follow the stars. Who is that loser? I don't know. Oh, his you... neck is like the size of his pinky. Okay, so I got the prize stapler. <laughs> they actually called it the prize stapler? Yeah. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. The prize stapler! I mean, they're really, like, praising their, like, office wear. Office uh. supplies are... Genuinely rare in this world. Yeah. Which is why you need to stop your quest to fight robots in a giant forest field to go find a guy's piece of office where he could have easily replaced the staples. Ah, that crack. Is this land like in a drought of office wear? I don't, I don't know. Oh, earth damage. Ah, I already had one of those. been like four more minutes of me just going around doing stuff. Yeah, you found my stapler. Oh, fine. Oh, I get this device. Okay, now I think that device tells me where like the other robots are. Wait, so the stapler's required? Yeah. It's not a side quest? No. That sounds like a great side quest. But the whole fact that that's required just boggles my mind. Hmm. It's like this really boring thing, you just have to go back and forth. Oh, and I think I remember it's one of the spots now. Okay, so we go over here, we jump on these rocks. Why? I don't know, and then we find another, like, machine again. And then we have to fight more of those hawks. Wait, who's that character? What? Who's that fourth character? Cream? Uh, Wait, why not Tails? Tails is clearly with you. Why not just make him replace Cream? Actually, actually, he's not. He's at, like, his workshop or something. It's, what? <laughs> this game doesn't make sense! You can only have, like, four characters on your team and you have to choose. I mean, I could have kept Big. Oh, please. Thank God you took him off. Yeah, but, but he has, like, like, one of the best attacks. But he's Big the Cat! Yeah, but he has like a battery ram that does not have to do with battery ram. And it's like really powerful. But he's Big the Cat! You know the guy who in Sonic Adventure 2 made you go fishing for a frog? No. It might have been Sonic Adventure. Which one was it? Was it in one not as bad as Sonic R? Everything's better than Sonic R. Yeah. If I go pee right now, it's a better <laughs> game than Sonic... Well, no. Actually, that would be... That's debatable. Yeah. Actually, I watched a Let's Play of Sonic R. Oh, really? It's pretty funny. The gospel music in the background really seals the deal. 
And the whole fact that there actually is gospel music in a Sonic game is really, really interesting. Hey, where are you on? Okay, so it's just defending and taking small hits. Really nothing else going on. I mean, if you get through the force field, it's like one of the hardest battles. Okay. Well, as long as you've got your prize, stay for it. Yeah. No, I gave that back so I can get what? some kind of Eggman generator thing. Why? Take the stapler and run! Do you understand how quick you could get through those enemies with a staple gun? Okay, we've shut down the projector. Now, that's the last of them. You should... Let's go tell Madden. Why are you talking I'm about so I'm John much? Madden, and welcome to my game of football! <laughs> my name is Professor John Madden, and I've been in a Sega game! I don't even know how you have to run around and find prize staplers. And look at this red battle, here we go! They're just teaming up and attacking and without even breaking the status, and I clearly don't know how John Madden talks. Well, not that kind of accent. Alright, Sonic's jumping and Sonic and Knuckles and Amy and Cream and I don't even know these people. But they're jumping really well. I am John Madden. That will live on through the internet. Okay, there's these drones that look like hot riders from Cleveland, Ohio. Boss Hot Rider from Cleveland, Ohio! No. Oh, wait. Wait, who was that cat? Uh, it was like Rogue. Oh, now. Wait, now we Rogue? Ha we have to fight these guys. Yeah, if you didn't know Rogue. This is really catchy music. Really catchy, really catchy. This is really catchy music. Okay, so it's like these, um, upgraded, um, bots. Well, that's interesting. Okay, this is where the game sort of starts to become less boring, boring than what you just saw. Earlier. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how you can get less exciting than finding a stapler for some guy. Yeah. And there's Sonic R. Yeah. Oh boy, Sonic up. Wait, don't you have a Sonic Anniversary Collection? Uh, yeah. You know it has Sonic R on it, right? You have to unlock it though, they make you like, play through the old games and you unlock it. I know what we're doing tonight. Okay, talk about personal stuff on the internet. What? Less, totally. Yeah, you, you did that on Vita. What? We were talking about personal stuff on the internet. Uh, oh yeah, that that, that was super Joe. Was I like, did not do that. In the last episode of Vita, we. Uh, in the last episode of Vita. Uh, okay, um, there's an epic battle down there, so I, I'm going to um, go back and heal up and stuff. So, see you next time when we battle these better swap bots, and hopefully the game will get more interesting. Bye guys.